Welcome, welcome, welcome to Starfield. Doing side quests and doing the neon ones right now. Um, quite a few of the quests are bugging out, so it's not sure what's going on, but is it a little annoying? It's just more time to doubt myself. What's I doing last time? My company's future. I've been riding on this. Not sure. Don't cause any trouble. I'm gonna meet the uh, Imogen. I think she's. She, I gotta save her somehow, I think. So, who have I got? We got, um. Talk to Benjamin Bayou. Yeah. Is he down there? I don't think he's down there. I think he's the other end of the, of the building. I don't see him. If you're wondering what that's about. Got a problem? Buddy old pal, Mr. Benjamin, runs this place. <laughs> Who is he? Oh. I just didn't realize he'd get into the... The dance. Interesting little graphics settings. Okay. What's all that? Exotic like bottles. To the other side. I don't recall sending for anyone. What do you want? No. I can always make time when it comes to an old friend. So, what would be the reason? I may consider Ryujin an ally, but Dalton especially knows I don't give anything blindly. As long as it doesn't involve the Syndicate members themselves... I'll tell you what. I'll make sure the Syndicate lets you in hassle-free. Provided you do a little something for me. <laughs> okay. And what mutual benefit would that be? Of course. Ryujin's success always pays out when it comes. Yeah. I hope. I'm trying to be reasonable here. All right. You talk a good game. And I suppose if we're looking at a mutually beneficial situation, there's no reason for me not to allow such a small favor. Check in with Ms. Moore at Frankie's. I'll send word along that you're to be expected, so she shouldn't give you any trouble. Fair warning, the Syndicate should let you search any common areas, but if anyone catches you snooping around private quarters, I'll just say, be prepared for some hostilities. Hostilities, nice.
seconds. Easy. It's a bad place for tourists these days. Harry's got to help. Two locations, okay. Quit staring. What'll it be? Need something? Getting special treatment. Huh. I knew you were some sort of trouble. I've got yeah, one rule for you in there, so it shouldn't be hard to remember. Third floor is off limits. They catch you snooping around, and it's open season. Hey, where's Deuce Tang soon? Hi, it's Deuce, sir. Uh... He does a multiplayer thing, doesn't he? On his uh, Fridays. I'm more of an honorary member. I let them take up residence in the back, keep things looking legit. They keep this business afloat, so finances don't keep me up at night. Hello there. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I got some ice water, I'm only granting you access because I have to. You'll find that young lady you're looking for holed up in a room Yum. almost straight ahead. Just remember to keep your eyes on the prize. The less you consider this an open house, the better. Ice water. Ice, ice. <laughs> Hydro may not be a reduction, no. That's not gonna be a problem. Why is this guy hostile? What the fuck? He shouldn't be hostile. Strange. Where's the person I'm looking for, I wonder? It's too early for adult beverages anyway for me. Hold it right there. You aren't allowed on this floor. Yeah, right. You're in our territory here. The only way you get a private tour of our personal space is if you're dead. Dead? Oh. We may have had a few dealings in the past, but that doesn't make us friends. Now beat it. If I catch you trying anything again, I'll introduce your face to a few bullets. Bullets? Ah, oh, but I want to go through that door. Oh, what about this thing? Can't go through that gate. Okay. That sucks. It must be near vent that I, I can't quite see. I gotta get access to. Because I actually I snuck through here one, earlier and they didn't go hostile, so. Ah, this stuff's repopped, I think. I already stole that key last time I was in here. Back off. Where's the way out? It's like a. Little vent system around here, I think. Uh oh. Really? I'm not even like attacking you guys. Far out. Alright. Why about that? Please.
I'm not very good at stealth. I've decided that I think I used to play stealth games. I like, you know, try to avoid all the baddies and and after a while I sort of just don't bother. You kind of just uh, do your own thing. Oh, it's a vent on the first floor. Interesting. Gotta do a bit of a jumping puzzle. It'll be fine. Oh, that exits the building. Really? I threw in a better access point um, previously. It wasn't this one though. Uh, maybe it was that one. Okay, that's, that's kind of not where I wanted to be. So. Might be a way up further, I'm just not sure. Doesn't look like it though. Hmm. A secret panel or something. I thought we'd way up here, but it's just a way down. It's not what I wanted. Okay, we're not going this way. We have to go around. This door's the way I want through, probably. I can't access the, the panel, it's behind the wall. There's nothing on this floor I can use. It has to be the next floor up. The next one above this, though, they don't like me. That's the little secret hideaway. Oh, it's your stairway over there. Mm. You try anything, you're dead. Yeah, yeah. Return of the Interceptor, coming this fall. Interesting. No funny business. Like I'm on the right spot. I managed to get around. I figured our paths would cross sooner or later. Not that hey, I buddy. thought I was safe, but I never expected anyone to just slip by all the syndicate here. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. You stay in this business long enough, you get enough favors and connections that can help you see anything coming. Nyx owed me a favor and gave me the heads up. That was Nyx, interesting. Yes, and no, but mostly no. Just hear me out, okay? I know this doesn't look good, but I had no choice. Ularu set me up, yes. I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. Of course. But first you have to understand, she used me to play an unwitting part in this, so I'm the one that takes the fall. That's why I said it'd be impossible for me to intentionally pull this off. 
Look, I only know about Project Dominion because I wanted to know exactly what I was being accused of leaking. But that tech is dangerous. An internal neuroamp that can theoretically control other people? If the evidence points to me, it's because Ularu used it to set me up. What better way to frame someone than to take control of their mind and have them actually perform the actions? Power, of course. Corporations maintain their success by any means necessary, but there are some measures Masako is reluctant to take. You may have noticed that none of your assignments directly involve murder. Masako reserves those actions only when it's absolutely necessary. Ularu sees this as a sign of weakness that needs to be dealt with. Because she knows I'm the most believable target, I'm the only one at Ryujin with the skills to even come close to being able to pull off a job like this. It's the only scenario that makes sense. Besides, what's my motive? My career is solid at Ryujin. Infinity can't possibly beat my current benefits. Believe me, after having to play double agent, I've learned all of this firsthand. I know it doesn't look good, but that's exactly why I've been gathering my own evidence. Ularu has the skill to pull this off, but she's also been behind the desk for years now. I knew she'd miss something. This slate holds all the evidence against her. I just need you to deliver it to Dalton. It's the only way I can prove I'm innocent. Oh. Nix's contract limits his investigation to Ularu's computer and her network activity. I hacked into building security and was able to recover deleted records of her accessing the Project Dominion prototype. I guarantee the third-party company Dalton is using for his security directive Theta won't even notice it. I'm the third party, buddy. I was hoping you would. I'm still going to lay low until I hear the coast is clear. As long as Ularu still thinks I'm on the run, she'll remain confident that her plan is working. And I know you don't hear it much around the office, but thanks. Alright. Easy peasy. Is the option off? Confront the alert and exit. Oh, I might do confront her actually. Crime Lord. I'm watching you. That sounds pretty cool. What do you got anyway? Nothing exciting. Interesting, so I can't just open this door to get out now. Well, it stays open. Well, I close it when I leave. You're lying to me. So I can't believe I killed like security officers in accident. I didn't mean to. I think my um, arm is broken. I was supposed to 10% chance to inflame enemies on, on hit, but I think it's doing it where it's a chance to just do it when they hit me. 
I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Oh, we got Yuko as well. Wow, look who's back. So tell me, what did you find out? Inside the Syndicate? That area is off limits, and I think we both know why. Imogene knew exactly what she was doing when she went there. <laughs> if you think I'm paying for that information, think again. It's just a matter of time before it finds its way onto my desk, and I can be a very patient person. Alright, you can. <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. Right, let's go confront this, uh... Yularu. The baddie. Confront the baddie. I'm oh, not you. Okay, for story. Where's the way up? Oh, yeah. Don't wander into any restrictions. Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> Whoa. At least let me close the door before you start getting into something you can't handle. Just a moment. Can't handle whatever. So arrogant. Shutting the door and engaging locks. You're going to shoot me? There. Now that I can guarantee we'll have no eavesdroppers, that's a serious accusation. I'd even call it a fireable offense. And just where is this absurd notion coming from? Is this a game? I wasn't aware. It is a horrible thing when such well-made plans can't be shared. I'm not sure you'll get anywhere with that forceful tone. I'm starting to wonder what Imogene ever saw in you. You have a point. Looks like someone's been brushing up on their corporate skills. Fine. Since it's just you and me here, I'll come clean. I leaked Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. But I'm no mole. Please. It's insulting that you think I'd actually be working for someone other than Ryujin or myself. Well, that depends on how you define innocent. You see, I'm not a mole. I'm an opportunist. And no one is more loyal to Ryujin than I am. Masako, on the other hand, is losing her touch. Ryujin needs strong leadership for what lies ahead. A CEO who can make the hard decisions. It's all part of my plan. But don't worry. Infinity LTD will never be able to complete Vina's work. I made sure of that. It was never my intent to involve Imogene. But when you arrived with information on Project Dominion, I knew Infinity had screwed up. I had no choice but to act fast. Imogene is the only one that Dalton and the others would believe was capable of pulling this off. It had to be her. 
What do you think? If someone was a threat to your family, would you be satisfied waiting for them to strike? Of course not. You'd eliminate the threat before it had a chance to act. In some cases, before it even realized what it was capable of. Back then, hard decisions were all about screwing people over and white-collar crime. Today, they're more about ensuring success, by any means necessary. So, now that you know, it's time to see how good you are at making hard decisions. With mm. your help, I can take down Masako and make the credits worth your while. So whose side are you on? Masako's or Ryujin's? Good. Now that I know where your loyalties lie, I suggest you act as if nothing's changed. If you're looking for a scapegoat on Project Dominion, you can feed Imogene to the wolves. When it's time for the next phase of my plans, I'll let you know. Not sure that, that was the right choice, but she convinced me. <laughs> the bay tricked me. I don't want to have the machine fail there. Keep out of my way and I'll keep You're back. And Imogene? Why am I lying? Did it change because I talked to that lady? I thought I could double cross both of them. That's not what I want to do. I might, I might go back and um, have a look. It's probably better having the, the high level exact on my side, but I'm going to risk the company though by doing so. Don't wander into any restricted areas. Is there something I can help you? Excuse me. Let me just a moment. Curious. So you do that, and it's uh. Okay. The wait still. Shutting the door and engaging locks. That's better. And just where is this? A is this a game? I knew that one last time. Oh. It is a horror. You have a point. Oh, sure. Sorry. That looks like someone's been brushed. Fine. I leaked pro. Oh, that depends on how you. You see, I'm not a mole. Masako, on the other hand, Ryujin needs. It was never my intent. But when you arrived, Imogene, it had to be her. It's all part of my plan. What do you think? Of course not. Back then, hard decision. So, with your help. Hmm. Well, 
It seems we're at an impasse now. Well, you can answer Masako herself. Does make sense? Oh, kind of maybe. The only way you stop me from carrying out my plans to depose Masako is to kill me. You could try to get me fired, but that only delays my plans. Face it, this isn't a game you can win. Go ahead. I guarantee any evidence you have is circumstantial at best. I've created the perfect scapegoat in Imogene. It'd be your word against mine, and I'm pretty sure the odds are in my favor. I admit, I misjudged Infinity LTD's level of competency. If only I'd have gone to see Simon myself, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. But I've learned from that mistake. So good luck. You won't find a thing. That's a bit away. Don't call We still want to do it. But we... yeah. This could be the most important. Hang on, that... that. We'll see what happens. Uh... You're back. So you did find her, and yet failed to bring her in. I'm looking forward to this explanation. You can see how the mall produced project went to front of the gene. Of course. We've scrubbed security footage and run through access card permissions and found nothing. The project itself is an enormous security risk, but our lead R&D engineer, Vina Kara, has been working on ways to mitigate this. I find it hard to believe Ularu would take the chance to incriminate herself. But if this slate provides indisputable evidence to corroborate your story, well, that's enough proof for me. It will be a relief to reinstate Imogene as well. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vinakara's office. Vina's the head of our research. She's the creator of Project Dominion, and often considered the protege of... Masako's been focusing on how to deal with Infinity LTD, and then... I believe her plans rely heavily on... <laughs> Not that I enjoy it, but I wouldn't... Got my eye on you. I got my eye on you. Way and I'll keep out of yours. Don't wander into any restricted areas. I need that bottle site if you want to complete the narrow area. Don't worry, we'll figure it out and get that shipment back. Good, you're here. It's time to put a plan in motion to take full control of this situation with Infinity LTD. Ah, uh, the mole took priority. Now that Dalton has everything he needs, thanks to you, we're free to proceed. We don't know to what extent Infinity has taken the current NeuroAmp schematics, so our top priority is completing our own. Let me introduce you to Vina Kalra, Head of Research and Development. 
She'll give you the initial details. Yes, details. You see, the internal neuroamp is supposed to consist of two parts. The first okay. part, the part Infinity stole, handles the manipulative effects. The second part is a shielding modification designed to protect the user against other neuroamp users. You got that right. No one wants their greatest asset used against them. Once Vina can complete the internal neuroamp and shielding mod, the plan is to outfit you with both and have you infiltrate Infinity LTD. We can't risk the assignment until we know your mind has the necessary protection. Of course. Mm. Installing experimental technology into your very head. What could go wrong? Nothing. Good. That's all I wanted to hear. And all I need is the last piece of the puzzle. The final kink in both designs was finding compatible materials to use for conductivity that the human body wouldn't reject. I finally mm. created the perfect alloy, but it requires a newly discovered refined element called rothesite. Hmm. The last rothesite. shipment we were supposed to receive never arrived, and we've gotten no response to our queries from the station. We have a confidential contract with Consolidated Mining to keep the discovery quiet, so it's unusual for them not to respond. We have several theories. Dealing with a new element on a new planet, has, it could be environmental, mechanical. We are leaning toward the left. I think we all share that concern. Which is why I want you to find. Unfortunately, yes. So be extensive tests and research were done on the planet. So the chances that and setting up a station like this is second nature for consolidated mining, with plenty of redundancy. Good. Feel free to deal with any resistance, however you. See. The station is called CM Station RC-1. Unfortunately, we had to cut ties with our supply chain manager, Camden Cho, and his replacement is still getting up to speed. Otherwise, I may have had more useful information. What Chargar was a bedding. I can't discuss the details. Company policy. Camden managed all of our outside contracts. He set up the initial agreements with Consolidated Mining, so he had on-site access and knowledge that we could have used. Be prepared for anything. Once you have the shipment, bring it straight back to Vina. Hello. Off we go. Carney Three. Always a satisfying moment. Return to your ship. Just some actual shooting again. There's like baddies. Some nutrient, I like oh. nutrient. You're a baddie or a goodie? Oh, you're a baddie. Hmm. 
Let me get this boat iron. That's quite a cool uh, shader pattern. Ah, oh, it's that guy that's hitting me. I wonder why the, my health was going down so fast. Got like a bleed on me or something. Got two guns. Strange. I mean, I got ten guns, so. There's no gun in there though. What the fuck? What an ammo. Weird. Mercury camera. Thousand pounds. Oh, yeah, it's pretty decent. It's a bit of mass, though. I really feel like picking up black market stuff. Why are you standing in front of me? Oh, this other gun's better. Always worth checking.
guess I'm slowly running out of midkits, but I, I do find quite a lot of them, so. Distraction. This is a flying up. Come on, buddy. How's my friend coming? I haven't targeted them yet. That's a bit unfair. I guess it was being, worth being methodical, these are quite high level. Been dangerous, I just ran through. Put stuff down there, check it afterwards too. An impressive investment in equipment. Someone certainly considered this worth the time and credit. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Hmm. Where's the other guy? There's two guys here. This corpse might have gone a bit funny. Where'd it go? I don't know where he flew to, but he, he went flying, so... Um... 
Hey, where's the other corpse? Who's a... Uh... There's gun down there. Where does the corpse go? I don't know where he went. Wholly unnecessary to do this to these poor miners. I agree. I don't care. Is there anything else down here? Just nothing. Seems so. Oh, there's gun. Where the other corpse went though, sort of just... Because when they blow up, they kind of fly. Maybe got lodged up there somehow, but... It seems unlikely. Ah, that's fine. Oh, interesting, it's like a little fast travel. Interesting. It's a nice way out. Hmm, the clinic really. 
That crystals. Love that. Read the contract. In here somewhere. Drive Ross site should not be repaired. Redirect to the clinic. Leave no witnesses. Going to the clinic, my old pals there, and they're into this sort of business, but. There's some resources here too. This is, this is a mining site, so I did find some. I'll get some more. These containers. Just water. Got the side. Found those heat leeches everywhere. Jeez. Habs. I wonder whether the result of the analysis here was good news or bad. It was news news, maybe? Lab here. Well, let me pick this. It's inside a shelf, so I feel like maybe it's worth it. Lab. Maybe we got some uh, missing resources. How about that? We can finish this off. Got that, got that internal two done though. This world, anyway, it's like. Five resources. We've got 
lead. Nothing good actually. Do what I did last time. Drop her on the floor. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is that how the thing goes? I think I want to fly away from my ventures. Kind of. Want to f not. Why is my cutter not there? Yeah, sure that's pretty good, that rifle. the mag share. Okay. Yeah, that was good, that one. So go back to Rage and Some other quests here, but let's see. It's not showing, damn. You're out there a lot, right? Space? This area's off limits, authorized personnel only. Mm. Of the galaxy. Yeah. I bet you do. Dealing, killing. Even the Crimson Fleet don't trust them. I think we could work something out. I'd like to help you, I really would. Fine, I'll issue you an access card. Infinity better get it together. Thanks, buddy. One of the, one of the items go between universes, which is you lose your own yeah. true. You can't be okay with this, though, right? You took an oath. Hey, who let you in here? This is a restricted area. 
<laughs> That's not bad, eh? In that case, you'll want to speak to Dr. Lane. I'm not grooming Dr. my Lane? career over this. Excuse me, but this is a restricted area. You need to leave. <laughs> checking up on us? I feel like we should be the ones checking up on you. What do you want? Oh, I see. Send an ill-informed rep so I get the pleasure of re-explaining everything while you aren't able to give me an ounce of information in return. I've been promised official authorization on Project Dominion for weeks now, and every time it's almost done or just a few more days. With confidence yeah. like this, it's a wonder Infinity LTD is able to stay in business. Is that what you traveled all the way here to ask? It's empty because we've lost our third round of patients. Now, do you want to get to the point? I've got failure reports to document. Of course you do, because daily reports simply aren't good enough. The third group, like the others, failed to take the internal neuroin, all resulting in death, with the exception of one, currently comatose. Sean uh -huh. and I are hopeful we'll be able to revive the subject, but until we receive proof of human trial authorization, any fourth group will be refused. Well, there's a level of brain activity that keeps us hopeful. Making sure that man lives is our number one priority. Well, you'd be the first from Infinity to think so. It's a relief to know they have at least one employee with some sense. Now, anything else I can help you with? Good. I specialize in neurosurgery, not chemistry. It's absurd you'd expect us to handle something like this in a medical lab. It's on the table. It's all yours. Anything else? Then we're all in a lot of trouble. This means everything we've done here at the clinic has been illegal and we'll all be tried for murder. Let's just say I was blinded by my own determination to restart my career. I'm pretty sure my feelings in the past are why Infinity hired me in the first place. They knew I'd be desperate to regain the respect of my peers, and failure would mean utter ruin. Now that's a naive question. The clinic is either being paid to turn a blind eye, or Infinity is doing all they can to prevent them from knowing. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, work to do. I have a new adventure in neuroscience. Hmm. Right, all right, interesting.
Welcome to Project Infinity. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Minor hiccup. Workplace safety, eh? A lot of body bags. Have to get through this day. Hello. Hello. Pardon. Okay. I think that's a. It could be like a magazine here, but I haven't seen it. Ship, we're not on the ship. Be we're on the space station. Run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they only settle. Every systems. new alien pathogen we discover is just a little system. more job security. You know, what's left over? Look on the bright side, right? It'll be enough to. I could have sworn, Doctor Salma. Stay healthy. Running. There's certainly no shortage of things to do around here. Take care. Needs. Are you here for a procedure? Okay then. Hope not. You guys are animals. Hello. <clears throat> I guess we go. Doing these side quests. Better than those constellation ones though, they were mind numbing. Is that my beautiful shipment? You were right about this one, Masako. One hundred percent pure though. When it comes to the brain, we don't want to take any risks. Now I shall excuse myself and get to work on finalizing this prototype. So what did you learn about CM Station RC-1? The mercenary group? Only that you mean business if you hire them. They're not known for subtlety and don't care if I take it they were at the station? Hm. 
Lucas must be desperate if he hired them to collect the Rothesite. Were there any survivors? Our station on Carinae 3A and Consolidated Mining's contract were both confidential. We had no reason to believe they'd be under any threat. Of course, we had no reason to believe we had a mole, either. Good. I may not condone murder, but I refuse to have sympathy for indiscriminate killers like Ecliptic. Especially after massacring innocents working for us. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? Dr. Lane. Hmm. I believe Vina is familiar with his work, specializing in neurosurgery. Were you able to determine what he was doing at the clinic? The clinic serves all, but it can't be denied that they require credits to run. In most cases, the clinic is also the best choice for research. Not everyone has the resources to have decent medical facilities like us on site. So, it sounds like Lucas has reached a new level of desperation to ensure his future as CEO. Infinity appears to be on an entirely different level of corruption. It cannot be allowed to continue. I'll make sure Yuko's team extracts every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. Between hiring Ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rothesite secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. Not long, according to her. She and Demarcus have everything prepped and ready. I believe it's just a matter of creating the alloy and molding it according to her design. Head up to the executive floor and speak to Dalton. He has an update for you on the mole's identity. I've called a meeting and I expect you to attend. It's time to put the final plan in motion. Mm. Final plan, eh? Don't wander into any restricted areas. Why not, buddy? Aren't you my friend? Thanks again for your mm. assistance. I trust you'll be discreet. I can't remember you, Rafik. Uh, you sound friendly. evaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. So this clears imaging of wrongdoing. Good. In due time. I'll be reaching out, but right now we need her to remain in hiding. Yes. You made the right call. I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogene was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. I can understand the need for deception, but it does come at quite a cost. Good. Keeping Olaro in the dark is the key to taking her down. 
Masako has tasked Ularu with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program. So this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity. So before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. Then we'll have to find another way to build a case against Ularu. And it won't be easy. I can't imagine a more satisfying end. Now, let's attend a meeting. Alright. Chew chat. Come on, darling. Let's go. I got a, a little hooey in the boardroom. room. Was he lowered the, the chair? We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best, so that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget, the mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Of course, thanks to another of my operatives. I know you're not insinuating that this is my fault. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal NeuroAmp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority, the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities. I can't imagine the mess their legal department has on their hands. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Masako, the internal neural amp is ready if you want to send down the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. Yeah, it's my brain messed up. Good. I can tell Vina is going to enjoy working with you. Vina will be waiting for you in the NeuroAmp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. Details, details, details. I know a 
my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. Did I work on a rat first? Neurosurgery is my specialty. I perform more operations than I can count on a wide variety of brains. So I like to think that I'm wildly overqualified. Really, I could do this in my sleep. The internal neuroamp is basically the next leap in our line of influential amplifiers. It gives the user dominion over a less dominant target, meaning you can heavily influence another person's thoughts and actions. The risk mitigation alone will be completely worth it. So, are you ready to get started? Oh, don't worry. That's not on the agenda. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards. Provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Eh, you're gonna be fine. All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. Cool, let's, let's get neurosurgeoned. Look at dentist chair to me. All right, let's get this party started. <laughs> it's fine. Everyone loves going under. Well, well, look who's finally up. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. How are you feeling? You look good? Huge success. No surprises, no signs of rejection. You were the ideal subject. Now, we just keep our fingers crossed and hope no unknown side effects come creeping in later. That's exactly what we want. Just a couple quick notes before using the inter- First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary, so be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Now that's something to talk to the drone engineers about. Now let's test this sucker out. Demarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. That's the spirit. Demarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. All right, lady, let's uh, mind blank my buddy.
This is only one at a time. As an observer, the effect is yeah. quite unnerving. It is hard yeah, not to immediately worry about the implications. How to describe it? One minute I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. It <laughs> well, felt so unnatural. And yes, I admit it, just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. Yeah, he's probably got brain damage. So, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Hear that, Demarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. Maybe that's the beauty of it. You'd never know. Uh... Besides, the neural elm isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete, and Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. Okay. All right. Probably aimless mission. Yes. This looks good. Yes, what? What intense side missions? Only one of the four factions. There's still three other factions to do the missions for. I believe. Maybe run around so much. I wasn't sure how. I, now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuro amp, it's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Reugen Industries. All right. Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. Option A, you need to remain under the radar the entire time. Option B, you have a slight cover that may give you the opportunity to talk your way to your objectives. Just hope those acting skills don't get you caught or killed. Now, depending on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on, also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. Nothing a good operative can't manage. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, 
All of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials. But Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Nero Amp. Anyone who comes forward to defend Lucas would be prosecuted as either aiding or being an accessory to these crimes. They all know career suicide when they see it. As for Lucas himself, if he wants to speak up and add corporate theft to his laundry hey, list ben. of crimes, fine. But who's going to believe him? It is best to keep the public unaware of such a device. If the media were to draw their own conclusions... Uh... I'm certain they just create a panic among y people. Yularia is the baby, but we're the being here to think she's not. Most importance. So Emma Jane's currently no, hiding. We don't want to mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. I'm told security has masks to handle the situation, so the guards will still be stationed in the building. It's also possible they'll activate their building's defense system as well. You may run into a few automated turrets, so you'll still want to try and stay out of sight. If the information Simon provided is accurate, you can reach the control systems through a computer located in the maintenance area. It's a pretty convenient stop if you enter in through the roof access. That old man's going to be around for some time to come. Especially since I heard you helped him get rid of an old thorn in his side. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should oh, help reduce suit. their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. Please, you're an exception. But we can talk promotion after you pull off this assignment. Just make sure you follow through on that statement. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he mm. asks questions, feel free to give him questions just enough first. information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. Ularu assured me it's safe. The Overseer program will purge itself once its primary function is complete. The only thing left on that slate will be proof of Infinity's crimes. Hmm, sounds suspicious. It doesn't matter what he believes. David's first move will be to verify the information you provide. Once he receives confirmation, which he will, He'll see it as his duty to report the news. Good. I guarantee the moment he scratches the surface on that story, he'll have a broadcast sent to every system. So, any final questions before you go? You'll assured me, yeah.
You'll be restricted to the marketing floor. An appointment is not a free pass. You have the ability to manipulate others. If someone's in your way, you could get them to move. If someone has a key card, that means you have a key card. The possibilities here are really up to you. Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Here's Simon's okay. passcode, your operative suit, the overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access. So that's your ticket in, either way. Don't screw this up. The Major Sky Jedi? Way. Yeah, I just, I just had a brain implant. I can mind control people. <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for, Ben. No, the other droids. Look at my suit, man. I, I even look like a bloody Imperial. I'm a, I'm a badass Imperial. <laughs> Uh, you, you can just wait Something here, buddy. Oh, I'll go to my Look ship first. Yourself, hmm? Um, I go to a dolphin first. Okay. Much cooler looking than your know, clompers. <laughs> yeah, the big clompers, that's for sure. This deal could be huge. It won't provide me much defense, though. My career will be I'll give it wrecked by any gunshots. Do you have the program? It's one thing to hide your work in a network with thousands of employees, not to mention access to a top secret project that can let you control said employees. It's another to try and hide on a single slate. So, yeah, let's take. Maybe the dude didn't, didn't trust me before. He's like, oh no, I, I'm not looking in the eye, man. I don't trust you. Aha. The decryptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. The moment you launched the Overseer program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. I'm going to copy the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact, so Alaru can't dispute it. All right. Thanks, buddy. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Olaru's guilt. Then it prove is it. time we use it. Yeah, he's he's in on the scheme. This man, Dalton, though. There's no doubt. Should you have even noticed the upload, the program itself is designed to ignore any stop commands. It would have been too late. Yes. And had you not brought this program to me in the first place, you would have been the one planting the false evidence. Without that falsified evidence, Ularu is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. Yeah. Cool. Missions. Alright, we're going to New Atlantis. Tell ho! 
Ignore stop commands? That's like yesterday's. Why aren't you forced me to subdue them? <laughs> Do you have a favorite restaurant here? Mine is currently Whetstone, but it changes. Uh, you gonna stay here, you? buddy? Wait here, man. I can do that. We'll be back. You'll be scanned as you enter the city. Okay. <laughs> that backpack looks kind of funny. Body thrusts. Yeah. We don't get very many history. Maybe a save. Here. It really makes the day crawl by. Hello. Did you have an appointment? Scarlet Lumen. Ah, yes. From Lumen Interactive. The elevator here will take you to the marketing floor. Once you yes, arrive, you'll lady. want to talk to Ellis Ortiz. He's the receptionist there and will be...